All right, this walkthrough is going to show you how to fire off the AI based on a keyword from your leads. And so once you've loaded in our snapshot, everything is ready and good to go, apart from some way to trigger off the AI to respond. So first of all, this assumes that you've already input the details into your custom values, the calendar ID if you're using a calendar, an intro message, and a open AI prompt, as well as your robot webhook. You can see here that on my test account, I've got Chuck Testa, master taxidermist and a uh, very funny YouTube video. But um, the one thing we're going to need to do is head into our workflow list, the AI booking bot folder, and we're going to add a new workflow and make an update to workflow one send message to robot. So first things first, let's create a workflow. Since I am using Chuck Testa here, I'm going to use the trigger word taxidermy uh, as my intro. And so I'm going to name my workflow respond taxidermy. You can name workflows, whatever you like, uh, something that gives you a good descriptor there. And we're going to trigger this off based on a customer reply. Let's say um, exact match phrase taxidermy. And so this way uh, you can put whatever trigger word you want in here. And so if you want people to text in the word demo or respond with the word um, get started, whatever you want them to respond to, just make it an exact match phrase. Uh, that way, if they use that phrase in a sentence, it doesn't trigger again um, or trigger in some other situation, just make it exact match and give the call to action to send in that message. So we've got that uh, customer reply in there. And all we're going to need to do is update the contact field. So add a step and do update contact field. Click this add field and search for the bot status. Set that bot status to bot, and that's going to turn the bot on. So customer replies, we're going to turn the bot on, and then we're going to send them an intro message. Uh, so I'm going to send an SMS saying, hey there, uh, thanks for your interest in Ojai Taxidermy. To get started, what sort of critter are we working with? Just putting a little bit of Chuck Testa voice into this. Um, and so I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and publish and save. And that's really all we need to get started here. Now we're going to add a filter into workflow one to make sure that uh, it doesn't also fire the AI when they send in the start message. It just it sends back this sort of intro message. And obviously your intro message custom value should reflect that. But I also want to show you if you want this to function on multiple channels, uh, then we would need to set up a couple paths here. So let's say if you just want it to operate over text is all you have to do. Or if you just want it on Instagram, do the same thing. Just make this an Instagram DM. But if you do, if you want to have multiple channels, you're going to need to edit this to make the reply channel be specific. So we're going to say reply channel is SMS. And I'm going to name this customer replied SMS. And then I'm going to make another one. Let's say we also want to have this active on Instagram. And so once more, I'm going to do exact match phrase, taxidermy, always check for typos, and then do reply channel and choose Instagram this time. So this way we have customer replied IG. And now we're going to need to put in an if else to have different paths here. So in the if else in this first drop down, click workflow trigger and do is customer replied SMS. Um, and so now if I hit save, we have our SMS path. And then over here under none, I could do my Instagram. But if I wanted to be more specific, I could come in here and add another branch, name this one Insta and do the same thing where we're saying workflow trigger is customer replied IG. And then we can, let's see, I'm going to copy the body of my message and over here send an Instagram DM with that same message. So this turns on the AI and sends a message for them to respond to so that when they respond to what critter they're uh, looking to get taxidermized, um, it will trigger off the AI to take over the conversation from there. But the one other thing that I want to do is make sure that when someone says taxidermy, the robot doesn't fire off and start um, just kind of going off the word taxidermy. And so what I have done here is uh, put in an if else condition 
And actually, let me just, um, for the sake of this, let me just get rid of this so that we can start from scratch. Uh, so this is the way that your workflow naturally looks when you load it in the snapshot. All you need to do is put in an if else at the top here, and we're gonna say um, response is not, and then our trigger word. And so down here, we're gonna say contact reply, then replied message is not taxidermy. So it's okay if the message includes taxidermy, if they start asking questions about what type they should do, whatever, uh, then it will still proceed down this way. But if they say the word taxidermy, it's gonna come over here and just drop off from there. Now, the last piece that I wanna cover in this video is that if you want to have a different AI than your normal AI, that is a different prompt, a different intro message, uh, take over for people who message in the specific word, then what I would do is add a tag in that workflow that we created uh, as a part of your responded with the keyword workflow. So you would add a tag in here, you could add a taxidermy tag, and then uh, just in the same way that we create multiple bots in one account, we would just set up an if else here uh, to have two different paths where if it included the taxidermy tag, go down one path, and if not, go down the other. And so in each path, you would have a step that updates the OpenAI prompts and intro message. So you could customize those. You could even book them into a different calendar. You could fire off a booking versus non-booking webhook, but check out the video, multiple booking bots in one location for more details on how to do that. So that's how you can fire off the AI based on a keyword and give a sort of call to action to your leads to write in a certain message to kick off a certain flow with the bot.